Hi right, guys, welcome back. Got another video here. Uh, Valent F75, even though the boiler's got good pressure. Now, one thing to always check is the um, is that the, the pump is working. It's in good condition. Uh, what I was just tapping there was the actual F75 sensor. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, this is a three-story house. So I'm down on the ground floor, so I need to isolate the, uh, isolate the appliance to work on it. So I used the filter just because the, um, the return one was very, uh, very stiff. So I didn't want to break anything or damage it. So then I've got my hose on, uh, going down into my bucket, as you can see. I open up the drain valve and just wait for it to drain down. While it's draining down, I can lube up the F75, well, the low water pressure sensor. All you have to do once the boiler's drained down is remove this clip from the uh, from the left-hand side there. It is a little bit fiddly. Probably should have just opened up the side case, but it is what it is. Just use my screwdriver. And obviously I've got lots of room in here because it is a system boiler. So once we've got that to this, this point, then we can uh, literally, what I do is I hold it, the new one in one hand and pop it out with the old one, just in case there's any water still in the heat exchanger. So yeah, literally just a straight pop out, pop it back in again. And then uh, we can get the clip back in. Now that's probably the hardest bit of the job is getting the clip back in. So I undo the side, undone the side case, just so you, just for filming purposes. And then you can see the two lugs that it's got, or the two holes that it's got going through. And then uh, pop it in, job done. 